All right, so my analysis has been completed. So I'm getting all these results. What can I do? I can highlight this one. Control C. Go to a new sheet and paste. So this would be my drag. This would be my uh, down force. I can highlight the whole thing, click on uh, insert XY chart. Is this correct? Mm. What do you do around? Huh? Move this thing down. Control X, Control V. I like. Look at our data, negative, negative, where is the data, click this one, negative, <sighs> confusing eh, let's, let's do this again, down force, control X, control V, right force, control X, Control V. This one, Control C. Right click. Paste transpose. This one, Control C. Paste it transpose. Ah, now you got a proper data. Mm -mm. Right click and delete. Now I can uh, drag pause is your, how does it being label? Angle of attack, oh I see. No wonder the graph looks weird. What was the angle just now? Angle degrees, no wonder the graph looks weird. Ruby. This one is another one, Control X, Control V, Control C, Control V. Okay, I like this one, Insert Chart XY. This is Downforce, Insert XY Chart, this is Drag Force. Where did I get this data? I'm getting it from this one lah. I don't have to do it one by one by one only. I don't need to do it. If I want to see the uh, point, I can just create project. Lah. Create project and then run again in order to see the calculation or the results or anything. Yeah, that's the thing. So downforce keeps going up and up and up. As I increase my angle lah, from 0 until 30, uh, drag force drops down at about 20 degrees. Huh? 5 degrees is low, 10, 15, 20. I suppose if you really want a big down, drag, down force, huh? 20 is a good angle. You get about 800 something Newton, and the drag is about. 300 something, 321. Okay, that's all. Thank you.